Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Postman Beginners Tutorial. As you all know, I've already published 14 YouTube videos covering different topics of Postman tool. So you can find the link for the playlist in the description. So this is our lesson 15 where I'm going to teach you about the query parameters. What is query parameter in Postman? How can we use these query parameters in Postman? And what are all the different advantages of query parameters in Postman? So let us go to agenda items. So basically, what is query parameters? So it is a key value pair that appear after the question mark in the URL. So basically, this is a parameter that you can use in the endpoint URL and this is a key value pair that appears after question mark and question mark separates the path that means this question mark separates your endpoint and the query parameter and this is used for filtering the resources or for querying based on certain criteria so basically you can send a request message api request message and you can filter based on your certain criteria and how can you do multi query parameters so multi query parameters are separated by and between them so let us go to again our website so as you all know i have already covered my previous session on path variables. Path variables are different from query parameters. So I have explained about path variables in my previous session. And now let us understand how it is different from path variables. So let us go back to the fake website that we used in our previous session also. So now this time I want to use get all cards basically i want to get the cart whatever the cart items that are available in the cart for that this is my end url so let me copy this and paste here so before that let me add a request so i'll do one thing i'll create one new folder I'm going to name this as query parameters, right? Under this folder, I would like to add a request message. I'm going to name this as get cards. And what is the URL? Let's go back to our website. To get all cards, this is the URL that you need to use. Let me copy this. And let me paste it here. As I told you earlier, so the query parameter is separated by question mark, whereas the path variable is separated by colon. You remember we started using colon for path variable, right? So this is where the path variable. I would recommend you guys to visit my previous video related to path variables but here the query parameter will be separated by question mark okay so let us assume i want to get all cart items here let's send this request so what is happening it gives me all the cart items let's go back here again let me copy this so cards right let me just cards and send this so if you see here it is giving me all cart items how many one two three like this it is giving me seven items now let us let us assume i want to limit the results by only three cart items how can i do that so i can separate with question mark which is your query parameter i'm going to define limit equal to 2 for example that means 
the request message or the response is going to limit only two items if you see as soon as i enter question mark the limit parameter key value is reflecting under parameter tab and two the value is this that means my query parameter key is this and the value is this so now if i send this request now it is going to return only first two items id1 id2 instead of seven items it is giving me only two items let me change it to four for example see as soon as i change the limit equal to four the value changed here and send it so now it is displaying me total four items so you can directly modify here also five items so as soon as i modify here your url also changed send this so i got the five items right save this now let us say i want to get all the products but i want to get in the descending order that means if you see here i am getting id 1 2 3 4 until 7 but now i want to get the order from 7 to 1 7 6 5 how can we do that we can do let's go back here in the ppt i am going to include all these queries in the description you can copy from them okay i am going to mention here question mark sort if you see here key value sort is being taken equal to descending see my key is sort and the value is descending which is a query parameter now let me send this if you see here now first it is showing me 7 and then 6 5 4 so that means it is showing me in the descending order right say this and what if i want to get the values of these cart items which are placed in certain period of the time that means let's assume i want to get all the items the date from let's say from january to february let's assume january to february 2020 january 2nd and 2020 february 2nd let's say what how can i do if you see here start date and end date that means i'm using two query parameters how, how can i do that start date equal to 2020 february sorry january 01 and you need to separate see as soon as i click enter and it started taking remove this they have currently only one query parameter so now as soon as i enter and end date see it is taking your second query parameter equal to 2020 0 to 0 1. what i am saying i want all cart items which has a date from january 2020 to february 2020 let's send this and see what happens you see here instead of seven items i got only two items if you see it gave me the item with the date february, sorry 0 to jan 2020 and 0 1 jan 2020 let's say if i make it three until march okay see it got changed here also the value got changed here also send it now it might give you more than two see it has one two three four five six so basically all the cart items that falls under this date range so that means you can use your query parameter by operating with and symbol if you have any queries in the query parameter concept you can leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries hope you all understand the concept of 
query parameter. What is query parameter in Postman? And how can we use query parameter while sending API requests? And what is the use of query parameter in Postman? Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.